Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have their financial life completely under control while others struggle? Well, the secret isn't necessarily in earning a six-figure salary or hitting the lottery. No, it's all about financial management. It's about making the most of what you have, whether that's $5 or 5000 You see, good financial management is like a well-balanced diet. It's not about indulging in one thing or starving yourself of another. It's about finding that sweet spot where you're not only satisfying your immediate needs but also planning for the future. It's about understanding how to manage debt how to save wisely, and how to invest smartly. And the best part? Anyone can do it. Yes, even you. It doesn't matter if you're a high school student with a part-time job or a seasoned professional. With the right knowledge and tools, you can take control of your financial health. So let's get started. Today we will break down the process of managing debt, saving, and investing into easy-to-follow steps. So, what is debt and why is it so important to manage it effectively? Imagine for a moment, you're in a store and you see something you really want but don't have the cash for it at the moment. You could use your credit card, essentially borrowing money from the credit card company to make the purchase. That's debt. It's money you owe. And it's not just limited to credit cards. You could have debt in the form of student loans, mortgages, car loans, and more. Now why should you care about managing it? Well, debt can greatly impact your financial health. It could prevent you from making larger purchases, like a house, or even affect your credit score, which in turn influences your ability to borrow in the future. Let's delve a bit deeper into the types of debt. We've already mentioned credit card debt, which is a form of revolving debt. You have a limit, and you can borrow up to that limit. As you pay it off, you can borrow again. Then there's installment debt, like a car loan or a mortgage. You borrow a lump sum and pay it back in fixed installments over a set period. Student loans? They're a kind of installment debt too. You borrow money for college and then pay it back over time. But remember, with all these types of debt, there's something called interest. Interest can be a friend or foe. It's a percentage of the debt that you owe in addition to the principal amount. If you don't manage your debts effectively, the interest can pile up, increasing your debt over time. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, getting larger and larger. That's why understanding how interest rates work is so crucial. To sum it all up, debt is money you owe, and it comes in different forms. It's important to manage because it affects your financial health and future borrowing ability. And remember, the interest you pay can make your debt grow if you're not careful. Managing debt is the first step towards financial freedom. Now that we understand the nature of debt, how do we manage it? Well, let's dive right into it. Managing debt is much like navigating a ship through stormy seas. It requires a clear plan, careful execution, and steadfast resilience. Firstly, the captain of every ship needs a map, and in our case, that's a budget. A well-structured budget is the foundation of any effective debt management strategy. By detailing your income and expenses, you can identify where your money is going, and more importantly, where you can cut back. This isn't about depriving yourself, but rather about making smart decisions that allow you to allocate more funds towards paying off your debts. Next, we need to prioritize. Not all debts are created equal. Some are more urgent than others, particularly those with high interest rates. These are the ones that can really sink your ship if you're not careful. So, prioritize paying off high interest debts first. It's like plugging the biggest leaks in your ship first to prevent it from sinking. But what if the storm is too overwhelming? and you're unsure of how to proceed. That's when you might want to consider seeking professional help. Debt counselors and financial advisors can provide valuable insights and strategies tailored to your unique situation. They're like experienced sailors who can guide you through the storm. Now this all sounds great in theory, but remember, consistency and discipline are key. Paying off debt isn't a one-time thing. It's a journey that requires regular payments and constant vigilance. It's about making those small, consistent efforts that, over time, add up to big results. And finally, let's not forget the end goal here. It's not just about getting out of the storm, it's about reaching calm waters and staying there. The goal is not just to get out of debt, but to stay out of debt. By sticking to your budget, prioritizing your debts, seeking help when needed, and maintaining discipline, you can not only manage your debt but also secure a more stable financial future. Remember, the goal is not just to get out of debt, but to stay out of debt. With your debt under control, it's time to focus on saving money. This statement may sound simple, but it's at the heart of financial security. Saving money is like building a fortress, a financial fortress that can shield you from unexpected expenses, economic downturns, and ensure a comfortable retirement. 
It's your safeguard in a world of uncertainties. Now let's talk about how to build this fortress. There are different strategies for saving money and it's crucial to choose the one that suits your lifestyle and financial goals. One popular method is setting aside a certain percentage of your income. This could be 10%, 20%, or even 50% if you're particularly ambitious. The goal here is consistency. Each paycheck contributes a brick to your financial fortress. But what happens when life throws a curveball your way? Maybe your car breaks down or there's an unexpected medical expense. That's where an emergency fund comes into play. This fund is like the moat around your fortress, providing an extra layer of protection. Financial experts recommend having an emergency fund that can cover three to six months worth of living expenses. It's not just about the amount, but also about the peace of mind it brings. Finally, let's not forget about saving for retirement. It may seem far off, especially for younger savers, but the earlier you start, the better. Retirement savings are like the high towers of your fortress, allowing you to see and plan for the distant future. By contributing regularly to a retirement fund, you're ensuring that your golden years are as comfortable and worry-free as possible. So, let's recap. Saving money is about building a financial fortress. It's about setting aside a part of your income, creating an emergency fund for unexpected expenses, and saving for retirement. It's about planning, consistency, and discipline. Saving is not about depriving yourself, but about preparing for a better future. So, go ahead and start building your fortress. Each penny saved is a brick added to your financial security. Remember, it's not just about the amount, but also about the peace of mind it brings. Now that we've covered managing debt and saving, let's dive into investing. Investing in its most basic form is about taking your hard-earned money and putting it to work for you. You see, money is a bit like a seed. When planted and nurtured properly, it can grow and bear fruit. In the context of finance, these fruits are the returns or profits you earn over time. There are numerous ways you can invest your money. You can buy stocks, which essentially means buying a small piece of a company. If the company does well, your stocks increase in value, and you make a profit. However, if the company does not perform well, the value of your stocks may decrease. Another investment option is bonds. When you buy a bond, you're basically lending your money to a company or the government. In return, they promise to pay you back with interest after a certain period. You can also invest in real estate. This can be anything from buying a house to rent out to investing in a commercial property. The returns can come in the form of rental income or from selling the property at a higher price in the future. But here's the thing about investing. It's not without risk. That's why it's crucial to diversify your investments. By spreading your investments across different types, you reduce the risk of losing all your money if one investment doesn't perform well. Understanding the risk of each type of investment is also key. Stocks, for example, can be volatile, and their value can fluctuate rapidly. Bonds, on the other hand, are generally considered safer, but offer lower returns. Real estate can provide steady income, but could also be affected by market conditions. In the end, the goal of investing is to help your wealth grow over time. It's about making your money work for you instead of the other way around. And remember, the sooner you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Investing is the key to growing your wealth and achieving your financial goals. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's summarize. We started by understanding the concept of debt, its implications, and why it's crucial to manage it effectively. It's not about completely avoiding debt, but about managing it in a way that it doesn't become a burden. Then, we delved into the art of saving. Remember, a penny saved is a penny earned. Cultivating a habit of saving not only helps in emergency situations but also paves the way for future financial stability. Lastly, we explored the world of investing. The key here is to start early and stay consistent. Understand that investing isn't about getting rich quick. It's about gradually growing your wealth over time. It's about making your money work for you. In essence, managing debt, saving, and investing are interconnected steps towards achieving financial stability and growth. Remember, financial management is not a destination but a journey. Start today and you will see the benefits in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.